so friends welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am going to share a recently attended sql interview questions and uh with the sql query and a brief explanation about it so watch this entire video carefully so that you will get very good understanding of what kind of different sql questions is been asked into the uh, data analyst and data engineer interview and how you can tackle the answers okay so right on my screen if you see here i have been asked the three questions from employer the first question is the employee having the highest salary then the employee have the name start with the breath okay second question is the first and the last record from the table and uh, third question is like employee have the fifth highest salary so these three questions i am going to answer in this video so let's see i have the table maintained into my my sql workbench it is employee table and the table have the uh, four columns like employee id employee name department name and the salary okay so when we see the first question employee have the highest salary then the employee have the uh, name start with the preet now we need a record or the salary which is greater than the salary of the preet okay now if you see uh, let me write a query to retrieve the salary of preet select salary from employee where <coughs> name equal to preet okay that makes sense let me run this and see uh, i think the employee name the name is like employee name and here we go the output is 7000 okay so we need the list of employee having salary greater than 7000 so our inner query is this select salary from employee where the name equal to preet and now we will write the main query on the top of it like select star from employee where now where the salary is supposed to be greater than 700 so salary is greater than this okay so this is our actual query and the answer is right in front of you you see the salary having the greater than 7000 uh, because it was a salary of Preet and we got all the detail all the employee detail who having the salary greater than Preet okay Preet's salary now let's see the second question uh, first and the last records from the table so there are multiple ways to achieve this i will uh, hand over the union option to you 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 guys can uh, add the comment section with the sql query using union and uh, try to answer it i will use the window function here to write the first and the last record so how it will be let me show you so select star select star um, row number i will apply row number over over order by emp id ascending and i will name it as as row number underscore ascending i will use again another row number row number over 
order by emp id as descending and i will use it as rs row number underscore d okay from employee so what i am trying to do i am trying to apply the row number to the actual data set and this will look like this in the first column row number ascending the employee id is going to be altered by descending order and the number is applied by row number a is 24 23 22 21 up to 1 and i am going to apply again a row number with descending order which is this so our first record is going to be this one and the last record is going to be this one okay so how i can achieve this now i simply want to apply where condition where one in r and d and r and e so wherever one is detected it will return the first and last so first row will be where r and d equal to 1 and the last will be when r and a equal to 1 so what i will do i will use a main query now select star from again this would be my uh, part of a temporary table i will name it as x i will apply where one because i want to see one number in r n a and r n d row numbers one in x x dot r n underscore a and x dot r n underscore d so i will get the first and the last record from the table see this is the output and you can achieve the same result via union put the limit one and again create two uh, create two conditions where the employee id is in ascending and the employee id is in descending and apply the limit one and use the union in the both query so i will take that to you try to do it and add your query into the comment box so that others will can get good understanding out of it so let's jump to the last question over here the last question is the employee have the fifth highest salary so i would use a similar logic like i will use the row number or the windows function to find out the fifth highest salary and you can apply this logic to any highest salary first second third fifth just need to hardcore this sql query watch this carefully okay so now i will apply the dense rank to the data set select star dense dense rank over order by salary <coughs> descending as row number from employee okay so what i am doing i am applying the dense rank on the salary column of the employee data set so let's see how this will look like here we go if you see this carefully Adhiraj having the highest salary which is ranked one komal having the second highest salary which is ranked two the melinda having the third highest salary which is ranked three and you see here flory uh, 
Ibrahim Vikram also falls in the third highest salary right here so this is the reason why I use the dense rank because if I use the normal rank or row number it simply would have give the one two three four kind of numbering to the columns right but we need a distinct number to be ranked okay so that's why I use the dense rank because even if the duplicate salary detect detected it will only apply the same rank number to all the duplicate record and very next is a four now 7000 having the fourth rank so this is why I use the dense rank over here now I need the fifth highest salary the fifth highest salary means all the records associated with the rank number five so this is our target records over here so what I will do I will simply add the where condition where Aryan is equal to five okay so I will use the main query now select star from this would be my uh, temporary table here I will name it as X where X dot Aryan equal to 5 got it now this query will return the fifth highest salary among the data set now if you can uh, do this properly you can find any highest salary like first highest salary you need to just simply replace a condition x dot rn equal to one and run it you will see this is the first highest salary now the second highest salary this is the second highest salary and uh, you just need to write the number simply number add the number over here you will get the second highest salary and it will the fourth highest salary so this query applicable to every sql or every n highest salary like if you want to calculate the nth highest salary this is the appropriate query and you do not need to uh, jump into a different sub queries there are different ways to achieve the same result and if you know you can add this logic to the comment section so that others will get a benefit out of it in my earlier video i shown a second high salary using the sub query and uh, which is department wise so here also you can do the same you okay, see department wise you can see the highest salary that's pretty cool okay so this is all about today hope you got a uh, some sort of help from this video hit a thumbs up button and share your thoughts into the comment section till then i will see you in the next video take care bye bye and and don't forget to watch the recorded interview for the same you can watch that video i will give the link into the description so that you will get understanding of what exactly they had asked into the interview and how i answered them okay see you Okay, so hope you guys found this video useful. Hit a thumbs up button and share this with your friends. Add your thoughts into the comment section. Till then, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.